Good morning. It's Plumber J. So I'm out here at a vacant property or in the country of a side of a countryside of Everett, Pennsylvania. And just an overview video of what I went through yesterday. I'm not really going to show you step by step what I did, but just an overview. No hands on step by step. So here's a mobile home right now. Mobile home gets well water, and the well is in here. My uncle in law, uncle in law, Gidon was asking about this. So, Gidon, this is um, the cover that goes on top of those wells. You need to have covers on top of the wells that are in these uh, cellars because what will happen is if you don't, A, you will rust them out, the pumps, and with the water and snow and everything, and B, you don't want no animals to hibernate in the winter, especially bears, which are out here. So, let's get this cover off. It's pretty heavy, so let's get this cover off, and I'll show you what I did yesterday and what went wrong. Okay. So there's the well in there. You can see right there I have it covered up with a shoe booty. Well casing goes down probably about 30 feet and it hits the well around 70, 80 feet, maybe 90 feet. Um, you can see here's the piping for the well. I pulled it up yesterday to replace the foot valve and it's a two pipe system. It's a two pipe system as I was saying that water goes down, sucks up from the bottom and then the water pushes back down to keep the circulation of the well going. And this is what it looks like. There's a foot valve at the bottom here, which holds the water, kind of like a check valve. And it goes in over there, which you can tell is rusted up. So I pulled it, and as soon as I pulled it... Alright, so as I was saying, two pipes, instead of it being a single pipe system... Well, let's backtrack. You got three, you got three types of pumps. You have a, a deep well single pipe system, which usually goes around... 300 feet to the ground, into the ground to suck up water. A shallow well system, which is a submersible pump like this. Sorry, not a submersible pump, but a, a above ground pump like this. And what it does is pumps like maybe 60 feet into the well. And then you have a deep well above ground pump like this. And it's two pipes. One will pull and one will feed the water back into the well. So you don't keep the well from drying out. But this property here owner that lives out of town, out of towner, he hasn't been here in four years. And what happened was without this being used and the trailer being uh, winterized, it's, it went dry. So I went to pull that yesterday. I pulled it. Me and my helper pulled it. My helper was off today because us country plumbers work four tens usually so it's friday so he's got his 40 hours pulled it pulled both pipes out at the end we did this but it was completely dry went to go put it back in with a rag to see how if we got any water and this dry well has dried up and collapsed so this pump i put in with a bleed that goes on top i like to put a ball over there and then i was going to go into there with the new pipes and then into that bladder tank that right there is coming out because i'm going to return that having used it i hope i can return it so i'm going to pull that out clean it up put it back on the box or back on the shelf at the shop or return it and what we're going to do is over here the well driller not me somewhere right there He's, he's thinking we're going to drill like 200 feet down. And what he's going to do is he's going to put a new casing right here. And the new casing is going to have a pitless adapter. And the pump is going to go down there. And we're going to bring in a line from this new pit over here into this area right here. Oh, through this brick wall, center block wall, 
and then into a new bladder tank. That's the game plan. Price is going to be like 15, 16 grand, but it is what it is. And then we're going to get rid of this whole pump over here. So new one over there, bring our two, 240 wires, three, um, three wires coming through here and into the new one. So that is the game plan. Cut that. Take that off. Now, electric wise, power's off. All right. This is a 110 single phase on this, on this, um, on this unit. When you go to our deep submersible pump, you gotta go 240. So I'm gonna get that apart. And then I am going to uh, put the wire aside and pull the pump out and then disassemble it, everything. Put it back in the box and back to the supply store. Please return me. <laughs> oh, let's see if this, I pumped this up to 38, sorry, 28 yesterday, because this is a 50, 30 switch. And we're still holding air, so. Bladder is probably fine in here, but I'm probably gonna swap it out anyways. And then it goes half inch all the way up in there. So let's get that apart. And we'll go from there. There you go. Who wired this up so good? <laughs> Me. One wire. Always got to make things more difficult. Stupid. All right. So you see how there's two wires right here still? Those go right to the pump. If you're doing like a shallow well pump and you or a deep well pump, you would have to do two uh, new, hot and a neutral, um, hot and a neutral uh, to the pump, sorry, from the pump and then to your switch. So here it's already pre-wired, so I'm going to leave that alone. That comes, that comes from the factory. And these just go hand tight on the pressure troll. And then this is going to take this out. And take that, both those bar fittings right there. And we're done. The cool thing about plumbing is that if you ever have leverage, you can take anything out no matter how tight it is. Unless the plumber, me, just stunk tightening it up. So, gauge and one by three quarter, uh, one by quarter um, bushing. It goes back to the supply store. And I'm probably going to cut this out here. Cut that right there. And hopefully I can reuse this T and valve for a boiler at a later date because pro pressing cheap. All right, let's run shows off. That'll be fun. Who tightened this man? Fuck. Dumb plumbers, I tell you. Always making things way too tight. <laughs> this one's gonna be fun. Ugh. It's got no hex on it. Let's grab. So I'm gonna grab that right there. There we go. There we go. 
So in the directions that I saw this diagram, pretty cool. So that's shallow well, which sucks water from the well. Shallow, probably about 60 feet down. There's your two pipe system, which we just took out. And that's your single pipe deep well system. So the pump is actually in the ground, in the well, whereas these two are above. Water pushes back into the well to circulate a Vittoria effect and then goes up back up and in into the house. So that's a pretty good diagram right there. You know what I was thinking? If this pump does not, cannot be returned to the supply store, which it should be able to, even though there's dope and I'll leave them the gauge and the bushing that goes right up over here, is here's what I'm thinking. I doubt my boss will go for it, but plug up one side, I'll take, plug up the other one over there, put a hose bib adapter right there, and on top, you put a ball valve like I had over there, right up top here, for a prime, wire that up 110, and for 120 110 volts and then put a plug to it you know what this would make really good of this would be a really good water heater pump oh imagine the suction i would get out of this thing <laughs> i doubt my boss would let me keep this four hundred dollar pump <laughs> oh there's my other pump right up in there giving me the stare my superior pump Tell me, don't you even think about it. All right, so that's it pretty much. This is going back to the supply store. I tried scraping off best I could. So we'll see what the boss man says about me turning this into a water heater pump. Doubt it. But uh, yeah, this will be a... Uh, unfortunately, we could not go this route. All right, so just to recap, okay... Oh, yeah. Of course my screwdriver is still down there. I have to go back down inside. Of course. <laughs> what else What else would happen? All right. Basically, just to recap, shallow well pump used to feed this mobile home right here. And we're since the well has collapsed down probably about 20 feet in, it just completely collapsed the casing. We're abandoning that pump, that well right there which is underneath that shoe booty. We're digging up another one over here. Gonna go about 200 feet down, unless he hits water real sooner than, uh, well, less depth than that. A little more shallow than he won't go that far. Gonna run a line with, uh, with a, a line with um, 240, coming this through the concrete wall and place it here. He'll put it in here for me. And then I have to replace the bladder tank, the diaphragm manifold, and wire it all it all up. Um, we are going to get rid of that electrical monstrosity. Gotta love an outlet that's also as a junction. Okay, get rid of that illegalness, and convert that from 110 to 240, all the way from. That junction box right there because that feeds the other part of that junction box feeds a water heater that's in the side over here so that's what's gonna end up happening I called the customer this morning eight o'clock Arab Rosh Hashanah and to wish them a happy new year which they had no clue what I was talking about and to tell them that this job is gonna be around 16 grand or so to do and they said okay so that is what we are going to do. Time to get home for the high holiday, the Jewish high holiday. And to wish you all a happy, happy weekend. <laughs> Stay tuned for more videos on this mobile home property that I've been working on. Get the cover back on for the weekend. Get my client screwdriver because that costs a piece of your liver when you buy that. And then on my way home. Have a good weekend, y'all. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Peace.